The COOSO model, which stands for the Committee of Sponsoring Organizations of the Treadway Commission, is a foundational framework for internal control that helps organizations manage risks and achieve their objectives. For candidates preparing for the Certified Internal Auditor, CIA, Part 1 exam understanding the components of the COSO model is crucial. Imagine the control environment as the foundation and walls of a fortress. It sets the tone for the organization, influencing the control consciousness of its people. It is the basis upon which other components are built and includes the integrity, ethical values and competence of the organization's people. Management's philosophy and operating style. The way management assigns authority and responsibility and organizes and develops its people. And the attention and direction provided by the board of directors. Risk assessment acts as the lookout towers of our fortress, identifying potential threats to the organization's objectives. This involves a dynamic and iterative process for identifying and analyzing risks to achieving the entity's objectives, forming a basis for determining how the risks should be managed. Like sentinels in a tower, this component ensures that the organization is always aware of the changing risk landscape. Control activities are the fortress's defensive strategies, including the policies and procedures that help ensure management's directives are carried out. These activities help to ensure that necessary actions are taken to address risks to the achievement of the entity's objectives. They can be as diverse as approvals, authorizations, verifications, reconciliations, reviews of operating performance, security of assets, and segregation of duties. In our fortress analogy, information and communication represent the messengers. They ensure that pertinent information is identified, captured, and communicated in a form and time frame that enable people to carry out their responsibilities. Effective communication must flow down, across, and up the organization. This ensures that all parts of the organization are informed and can respond appropriately to internal and external events. Lastly, monitoring activities are the scouts of the fortress, continually roaming to assess the quality of the internal control systems over time. This involves regular management and supervisory activities, as well as separate evaluations by internal and external auditors or other parties.